I've, as I said, it's been it's been a bit of fun putting these together and sort of deliberately visiting these bridges and it makes you think about it. I didn't want it to be too nerdy and um, you know I mentioned a few dates, but uh, as soon as it, yeah, oh, I'm not a bridge historian of Exmoor as you've probably spotted. Oh, where do we go now? Hello and welcome back to a damp farmer talk at the top of Exmoor and uh, more importantly the River Baal. Bridges of the Baal. Mm, I thought long and hard about that title. Uh, but I've got eight. The River Baal runs from Pinkery Pond. He, he's pointing best part of mm, best part of a mile upstream and that's the source of I nearly said Nile, but Baal is uh, a little more apt and more modest, I may say. Uh, although not today because it's pouring with rain. So yeah, I've got eight of these bridges. So uh, we'll us so all whistles, t whistle, wi we'll go and see them. <laughs> this is the first one, it's Goat Hill Bridge. Goat Hill Bridge, easy really. So uh, yeah, next stop, Simmons Bath. Okay, Simmons Bath. I'll probably be in a lot of trouble for pronouncing it like that. Now this one, what I should say about these bridges of the ball is the reason for doing the vid is the, it's got such fabulous bridges and uh, the, the two we've already seen and then, well the one we've already seen I should say, I'm, like, I'm just getting the order sorted out here. And uh, medieval is the word that comes up, I was around then of course. And another date that comes up quite a bit when you look at these uh, bridges. Uh, it's 1952 and apparently it goes even wetter than today then and uh, quite a few, most if not all these bridges um, that we're going, which we're going to feature uh, <laughs> were ripped to pieces and had to be rebuilt so um, hmm oh well. Now next hmm. How many of you can guess where we are now? I did give a clue at the last bridge. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this will be Lanica. iconic overused word Landica Bridge and uh, probably too popular for its own good it's beautiful the whole valley here is stunning very popular for walking and through walks etc circular walks and the river is just beautiful and it's as high as I've seen it um, it's very wide shallow river but yeah just gorgeous but I, I mentioned, I mean this thing, just a few, there's records back to the 1600s. Uh, apparently it was restored. <laughs> it got a bit rusty. It was restored in 1875. Yes, I know I wasn't there. Um, although sometimes it feels it. But I'll come back to the 52 date again 1952 which I mentioned on the other bridge the damage done then but of course that was the year of the uh, Lynmouth disaster and it was that I think it was August dish time uh, just a phenomenal amount uh, no, just an inconceivable amount of rain fell and uh, I mean it was a tragedy the loss of life in Lynmouth uh, that's 
that's another subject. But of relevance to these bridges on the Baal, the as much water as went that way north to the to the sea. I mean, obviously, a phenomenal amount of water came this way, and I find it hard to get my head round that we are pretty much at flood conditions at the moment here on Exmoor. So much rain, and yet. In can see that the bridge is not under threat at all, and so to think that the amount of water that came down to damage and rip apart these bridges really takes I, I can't get my head around it. So, yeah, there you go. But it's still here and it's standing and looking gorgeous. So, onwards and downwards downstream so downstream to Withypool right Withypool and ironically new bridge <laughs> New qualifies as 1866 and uh, of more concern though is that apparently it was rebuilt in 1983 by Somerset County Council. Uh, miraculously the road is open. Still standing. Uh, I think they've opened the road since then. Ha ha ha. <laughs> okay. Watch, <laughs> watching my step on our step three. Uh, we're cheating here because it is. Just Patently not a road bridge, but it's just too special not to include in this lot. So, and it's my video, so we're cheating. <laughs> this, of course, Clapper Bridge, and it apparently is one of the longest, the longest in the country. So that's not too bad. And uh, yeah, it's it's just a special place. Um, there is actually a ford there, but I'm not too keen, I wouldn't be too keen on driving through even in the Jeep today. Um, back on the 52 thing, I mean this is obviously, I don't know how old it will be, since the year dot, but that 52 year comes up, although in this case apparently it fell to pieces in the 1941. Uh, but obviously 52 didn't, it was rebuilt then and apparently it had just been, had a load of work just before the 52 bit and it didn't stop there either and uh, looking back rec in recent times, 12, 2012 um, and 2016 these, I mean, how much, I should know because I, I looked how much these stones weigh but, I mean, it's tons and tons and tons. It's just the power of the water. It's, you, you don't get, standing here, you don't get a sense of just how powerful it is. But, yeah. However, an iconic bridge, this and Lanaka, got to be the pair, haven't they? This isn't a road bridge, so it wins. <laughs> Simples. <laughs> oh, where do we go now? Let's go and have a look at Marsh Bridge. Yeah, why not? Come along.
Okay. <laughs> Enough, my dear. Oh. But Marsh Bridge, yeah, just outside Dalton. Although, in fact, I have just walked over the old Pack Horse Bridge. As I've just mentioned, here is the rather quaint old Pack Horse Bridge. It's really, let's come in here, it's really rather cute. Well, <laughs> sure they didn't think it was cute 400 years ago or whenever it was that they built it. And of course, I guess even more years ago, they used this, the Ford, until they built, yeah, the little old bridge. But, of course, as you can only get a cycle over it or one horse, they built another bridge. And it's this one. Marsh Bridge. A lot of rain last night. How close can I get to the edge of the river? Wow. So, yeah, obviously, a few years ago, it was a proper stone bridge, but they didn't build it as well as they could, maybe, because they fell down. And then they've replaced it with this iron bridge. Do with a spring clean, but it's rather quaint, don't you think? Right, Dulverton Bridge. Now, this has to be the busiest bridge over the bar. And uh, singled once, one at a time, but it was widened in 1819, which is about 20 past six. Um, so they obviously did that quite quickly. And it's a pretty solid affair, I have to think. So, uh, and saying it's busy, all of a sudden, no traffic. Well, they widened it, but cracky. I'm not sure I'd fancy the job. It's been interesting to see a time lapse, but 1819, they probably didn't have time lapses. Yeah, quite like it's a bit too busy for my liking this one. But no doubt a convenient way of getting from one side of the river to the other. Quite uh, a few hundred meters downstream, 
the Baal, this river, meets the X and, uh, and the X wins. So, um, uh, so these are the, the, I've done the eight bridges. I've cheated because I included tar steps and it wasn't a road bridge really, was it? But, oh, there's a goose kind of flying over. I got quite close. Um, yeah, so tar steps was in. However, there is a couple hundred meters up behind us. There's a there's another lovely stone bridge, uh, an access to the farm, and so a bit tricky to show. It's behind closed gates, but um, yeah. So that sort of counts. And of course, there's quite a few foot bridges, wooden foot bridges, and various constructions on the bar. But um, we'll probably find those because I want to do a. Uh, a, a sort of video walk of the, of the river right from source up at Pink Groupon so we'll probably catch that then uh, as I say this is new bridge last probably least actually being rude <laughs> um, but it's still a great river hope you've enjoyed this it's been as I said it's been it's been a bit of fun putting these together and sort of deliberately visiting these bridges and it makes you think about it. I didn't want it to be too nerdy and, um, you know, I mentioned a few dates, but uh, as soon as it, oh, I'm not a bridge historian of Exmoor, as you probably spotted. So uh, it's just a bit of fun and, uh, and hopefully, hopefully you've enjoyed. Sincere thanks for watching. Great if you liked, commented, um, you know, might even want to subscribe because there'll be more videos coming along soon. Don't you ever heard that before? <laughs> Thanks for watching again. Bye for now.